Welcome everyone, I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of The Playbook, and now that all of the film has been watched and all of the grades are in, it's time for the FBGP Scouting NFL Draft Prospect Preview presented by Crossover. Before we get started with our rankings, here's how we gather our grades and what they actually mean. First, we watch a minimum of three full games on a prospect, his best game, his worst game, and the best possible matchup. And second, we grade on 15 key points specific to the position to equal 100 points in total. Now here's what the grades you'll see by a prospect name will actually mean. Prospects that have earned grades in the 90s graded out as potential future NFL All-Pros. Prospects in the 80s are considered future Pro Bowl players. Grades in the 70s represent solid NFL starters. And grades in the 60s are players that we believe are spot starters or situational starters in the NFL. And if you notice, we don't use the word reserve or backup because we personally feel as though there's no such thing as backups in the NFL, only starters in waiting. So without further ado, Let's kick off our rankings by taking a look at our top 10. Finalizing our tight end rankings by peeping out the flex prospects in this year's draft class. Now, normally, this is where you'll see about 20 prospects, but this year, the pickings are definitely slim. Bucky Hodges out of Virginia Tech plays like your prototypical flex tight end. And if you're not looking, you'd think he's a wide receiver. He provides a great matchup problem for any defense and shows good ability and track in the football. You'd like to see him be a little bit more consistent at the catch point moving forward. Also, how will he adapt to the blocking part of the position? That'll be something to watch for as well. Gerald Everett out of South Alabama was excellent all week long at the Senior Bowl. He's a player that still has some upside in his game. His receiving skills are unquestioned and his blocking has made some strides since his junior season. He's cut from the same cloth as former Miami Hurricane and current Oakland Raider tight end Clive Walford. John Dudley of Greenville College played wide receiver for the Cougars, which is why he has those natural receiving skills. Now, he doesn't have the burst or the quicks to remain at that position in the NFL, but he does have both to win versus linebackers and some safeties. If he can get up to speed quickly as a blocker, I think he'd be an ideal H-back, but I have him moving slightly inside as a flex option. Derek Griffin out of Texas Southern, a former five-star high school recruit, is a total project because of the amount of time playing basketball he's done at TSU. Now, Athletically, he's there and can do some things as a rookie like red zone or, or goal line phase, but to fully maximize his talents and unlock his vast potential, he'll need to spend a full offseason in the weight room and dedicate to football only, which will only happen in 2015, where he had over 700 yards receiving and 10 touchdowns. Jacob Hollister out of Wyoming has a good feel for the intermediate passing game and is one of those flex tight end options that can be utilized as an H-back or even a wide receiver in certain situations. I'm a big fan of his game. David Njoku of Miami is essentially a big wide receiver, which is why he'll make a solid flex tight end. Keep him out in space and allow him to succeed down the seam or even over the middle of the field. His ability to arc and stalk, stalk block I'm sorry, gives you a lot of options personnel-wise on offense. Cole Hickletini out of Louisville is arguably one of the more underrated tight end prospects in this draft class. He's par for the course at the position this day and age, and he's an excellent flex that can create matchup problems in the passing game. But unless his blocking starts to improve, passing downs is when you'd only get to see him. He can do so much with or without the ball in his hands in the passing game, but again, rounding out his game will be best for him moving forward. Adam Shaheen out of Ashland didn't just come out of nowhere. He was a football game plan preseason Division II All-American and one of the more feared tight end prospects at that level. Now, he's a taller guy at 6'7", but he's very fluid in his route running and also after the catch. He's a legit option in the passing game and will be as a pro, but blocking and leverage will be his bugaboo. This is where you expect to see a lot of growth or significant strides in this area from him as a rookie. Again, blocking is mostly about effort and want to, and if Shaheen wants to stay on the field, he'll have to make the necessary changes in order to grow his game, but there's no doubting the, what he can do when he has a ball in his hands, I think he's a special talent. So that's right for our 2017 FBGP Scouting Draft Prospect Preview presented by Crossover. To see more of our individual scouting reports, follow us on Twitter at FBGP Scouting and bookmark the page footballgameplan.com slash FBGP Scouting. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash footballgameplan where you can get all of our scouting videos, 
mock drafts, pro day videos, and interviews with NFL draft prospects. And one more thing, subscribe to us on iTunes under Football Game Plan Podcast.